being able to power my refrigerator and my cell phone is really important to me. I had one large dry cell that I'd taken out of faith and I knew that wasn't going to be enough so I put it in the back to run my lights and I bought a big battery to run the refrigerator. I would have to stop for days and sit to try to get that battery voltage up. Last month I ditched the AGM and got two golf cart batteries. And after a couple of weeks of having the solar panels up on the roof, I realized that I was generating enough power, but only for a day, and I needed more. I was leaving the Valley of Fire. If I could store enough power to get me through a cloudy day or two, I could camp anywhere for free. So long, Valley of Fire. Hello, BLM. Good morning, YouTube. Today's the day. It's my last day here at Valley of Fire. I quit three days ago, and I've spent a couple days getting ready. And today is the day I'm going to finish packing, and tomorrow I drive out. Um, but that's here's what I was going to show you. <laughs> I have lost all my cameras, so all I have is my phone right now. And I just spent a fortune on this box. I'm going to show you what's in this box. Maybe. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> I got this tub. This is my battery, uh, my battery box. Very simple. Um, I have four. batteries now. I had to go buy new ones. If you remember, I had that big-ass battery sitting in front of the passenger seat. And then I put these in there, two in there, but four would not fit in there. So I rearranged. And now the batteries are in the center. But, you know, between the two front seat. I can't pull it up all the way because it's hooked in the back. I'm going to show you what I did. You know, there, I was only but... generating enough power to make it to the next day so when i got a cloudy day um i had to plug in just to be sure that the refrigerator would keep running so i went and looked at us you did a solar calculator thing and it said four batteries and i kind of already knew that i just didn't want to spend an extra 400 bucks knowing i was leaving not only are four batteries bulky but they're also a trickier to hook together than two were. Do this at home, look it up online, but basically the first step is to join the two six cells to make one twelve. And you do that by connecting the positive of one cell to the negative of the other cell, and then you have two sets of twelve volt batteries. Then you connect the positives of group A with the positives of group B and the negatives of A with the negatives of B. Now you have 12 volt battery with double the capacity and you connect that to your system. For mine, it's going into a fuse box where the positive of the first battery and the negative of the last battery right, join. So it may not look cleaned up and now you're upside down. But this is a 12 volt plug that I don't have hooked on anywhere yet because I don't like this 12. The uh, it comes undone every once in a while and I don't know it, so I've got to look for a new one. This I just got to get rid of. I had this 12 volt thing with a USB and the fuse busted, you know, blue. And I haven't been able to find a new fuse yet. I got them, but they weren't strong enough. All right. It's a fuse box, you know. And I found... I always have trouble making my own connections here. Pardon my fingernails. Just a mess. 
So I found this uh, stuff called liquid tape that I don't know how to solder. And so I, I've been using this liquid tape and they don't, the wires don't fall out anymore. Then this goes into the battery. And I think that's gonna, I have to put the top back on. I think that's gonna work. I have a lot of excess uh, cable running from the solar and right now I just have it coming through the window. And that's a, isn't that appropriate? The flag is torn. Um, that's okay for now. It's not going to stay that way. When I get to Colorado, my daughter will help me put it through the roof someplace. And I'm going to get a better wire for it. But for now, oops, I don't know if you're sideways or not. For now, that's uh, good. And I'm generating plenty of ant power, which I can see on my refrigerator. That's what I like about this refrigerator. It tells me. Yeah, 12.5, and it's about 8 in the morning, so it's just getting started. And I went, I bought these yesterday, put them together, and uh, last night it barely pulled any energy. So, I mean, I had plenty left for this morning. So that's good. I think that's going to work.